Hello, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So guys, it's been two weeks today. Yeah, today makes exactly two weeks since I uploaded a video. And the two weeks was interesting because one, I love power again. I don't know what's going on in 2018. But this power mess has got to stop. We had like a major storm. It was really was it felt like it was a tornado because the wind was like really bad and it tore down like all the trees and power outlet was out so I lost power for about four days and um, also I had dental work done so this part of my face was like and I was not coming on camera with swollen face so pretty much that's it but I was reading so so far for the month I read like four books and um, enjoy them I don't really um, had anyone that was like bad it was pretty much Four starish books, and right now I am reading *August Town* by Kai Miller, and I'm shocked how good this book is. Like, had I known this book was this good, I would have picked it up a long time ago because I had this on my bookshelf for about maybe five months now. I got it, before, yeah, I think around the Christmas time, so. We're going on six months that I had this book and I finally picked it up. I am about, I think I have about 60 something pages to go and um, it's amazing. It's basically a story in a town in Jamaica um, called August Town and there's like a series of events that's happening that's leading up to a day that was tragic and you're hearing a lot of the story through a woman. Um, an old woman who had lost her sight and she has all these senses where she can you know she basically can see things and sometimes feel things before other people but the story is like all these folk tales and these things that are a bit um mystical in a way but you're not sure if they're real but they all connect somehow to certain people in the community and to the day that's leading up to the, the tragic day. So right now, I just hit the beginning of that dreadful day, um, which I like about this book because it's suspense. Like you're hearing all these stories, and then you're not sure how they connect, but you start seeing it unravel. And it some parts is hilarious. There's a lot of religious talks in this, um, you know, pertaining to the Rastas. And so there are moments where you know, got my locks, and certain moments I'm like, yeah. I could, I could feel the tension in what was going on but I definitely think you should pick this book up it is really really good and I mean it makes me want to read more Jamaican authors and I don't read a lot of them and I really do need to read a lot of Jamaican authors because you know that's, that's my culture yeah this is good I also am reading Good Girls by Jenna Austin and I'm about I'm reading on my Kindle and I'm about 40% in and I'm bored I'm really surprised how slow and boring the first part of this book is. I'm really hoping that the second half is more interesting, but I'm bored. And I'm, I'm shocked because I've read about at least six of her books and I've never seen her writing style like this. I don't know what she experimented with, but for what the story is about, it, it needs to be a little bit more juicy that's going on in the beginning. 40% in a book and you can't get my attention that well. That's a problem. So I don't know about this one. We'll see um, at the end of the month how it works out. Um, and that's about it. So I just want to leave you with a comment and basically read what you want to read. Read what makes you feel good, what entertains you, what gives you inspiration, what makes you laugh to the point where you forget your problems, what makes you escape from your problems or your real world. Something that makes you feel good. Read what you want to read. Don't have somebody dictate what you should read, what you shouldn't read, what's not um, good literature and what's this, that, the other. And this is a lot of it pertaining to people who read romance novel. Romance novel is still reading it's still reading and it's sad that some people feel the need to book shame people for reading that genre and there are other genres that I feel is not for me there are things about it I don't like I've never chastised somebody for a reading a genre that they enjoy reading you should be able to read what we all adults it's our time and we should be able to read what the hell we want so with that said 
enjoy reading read your romance if you want to read your why if you want to read your classic literature if you want to and your fantasy whatever genre that feels good to you read it and don't have somebody tell you what you should or shouldn't read as long as you're an adult and it's not a book that's that's you know too graphic for a minor read what the hell you want <laughs> with that said have a good day and thanks for coming by bye